today we're going to learn how to drive manual cars and a lot of people tend to feel like driving a manual car is very difficult but i want to tell you that uh, driving a manual car is actually very easy because it's a mechanical thing and once you learn how to do it it is something you will continue doing probably for the rest of your life if you continue driving manual cars but before we we get into the main uh, topic of how to drive a manual car let me give you a brief background driving uh, classes as defined by NTSA we have class A B C D and E okay so these are the classes based on NTSA these ones are actually motorbikes the type of cars you'll find here motorbikes mopeds yeah tuk-tuks and uh, this is a. then we come to b class b which has b1 no which has b and b1 so actually b1 is professional that is professional in class b class b includes small cars and light vehicles light vehicles in the lights of pickups so this is where you will find small cars in class b so in class c you'll find uh, what light trucks you'll find light trucks and passenger vehicles passenger vehicles like matatus and so on eh? this is where you'll find light light vehicles so when you're starting to learn uh, when you when you want to learn how to drive first of all you must know why do i want to learn to drive why do i want to learn to drive uh, there are reasons that will make you want to learn to drive if you just want to learn to drive uh, say an automatic car you have an automatic car or you will be driving automatic cars then you just need to do class b and when you're going to do your test you must select class b automatic car however most uh, driving schools recommend you learn how to drive manual car you learn how to drive manual cars and just before your 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 test you probably have some experience driving an automatic car uh, but once you learn how to drive a manual car then driving an automatic car is is very easy it's not like driving a manual car so basically that is the introduction as to why you want to learn uh, a manual car if uh, for instance you want to be driving pickups light trucks and commercial passenger vehicles and which means you will need class c you must first learn how to drive a manual car in class b so that going forward because the most of the vehicles you'll find from classes c d and e will be manual most of the vehicles will be manual so if you're going to drive cars in class c then you must learn how to drive a manual car if you're not bothered about these classes then you can learn how to drive a small car uh, using a manual car and at the same time learn also how to drive an automatic car because when you take your test it connects it connects your clutch and your flywheel it brings them together like this that is the biting point the biting point is when these two start touching each other and you feel the car wants to move 
So, then we shall use this model where the reverse gear is on the lower right side of the of the arrangement of the gears and the gear number one is on the upper left hand side of the of, of, of the gear position in the car so these are this, this is how gears are arranged in any car when you are driving a manual car gears are shifted from the lowest gear yeah from the lowest gear to the highest gear sequentially so they follow each other so when you're driving a car you start with gear number one yeah so your liver is in